The journey from hip play started back in the day. I used to call it rap ballet. My name is Homer, I'm here to say I am the guru of the rap ballet. The ballet puts your body in touch with your mind and the rap beat keeps you stepping on time. But then rap became hip hop. I said, wait a minute, I gotta stop. What am I gonna do? Rap, ballet, hip hop, rap ballet, hip hop, ballet, hip play. It's a peculiar thing to be so young and realize that that's what you want and to have even gotten this far and have very little times where I've faltered and literally wanted to stop. Um, I'm thankful for that. Also, I'm thankful for Mr. Homer. I'm thankful for all of the teachers that have mentored me throughout my journey at CMDC because they're all truly unique. And um, multicultural means so much more than literal race and culture. It's diversity of, of personality. It's diversity of life experiences. So when, you, when you come out, you are truly a, a cultured human being, but not in the simplistic sense. I came to CNBC when I was like 10 years old. I actually needed something more. I was at a little small studio, it was kind of like a little corner studio. But I actually heard from one of my teachers that Mr. Homer was like the best place to go. So I eventually tried it and it just stuck ever since. And it actually gave me a passion and saw black ballerinas and it gave me more confidence to actually dance and not be shy. So I've taken the discipline I've learned in the studio with me through my academic life and that's really helped me become the student that I am today. I see a place where black dancers can be who they are. I was, I found CMDC in the first place because I went to, you know, the little, the, you know, everyone starts somewhere, so you have like the smaller dance school, and you, know, you only go there on Saturdays. And, but because I was raised by artist parents, it, it was never extracurricular for me. So, in my mind, as a two-year-old, I was like, "This is what I'm, this is what I'm doing. It's never changed." I introduced to hip play when I was 14, but I came out the womb dancing. Ballet is very strict; it's like black or white. Hip play just allows me to be exactly who I want to be. It has been very difficult for black and brown women for classical ballet. Hip play is a fusion of the classical point technique with hip hop, African, Latin, jazz. It's everything that we're made of. I didn't think I was big until I went to school for dancing. I was the only, maybe it was like three other black girls. We have had all type of pushback from the ballet purists. I used to get comments about how bulky I was, but it's actually helped me with how high I can jump. People say that you cannot be too big on point because it'll put too much weight on your ankles. That's not true. If you have the strength, you can do it. Hello, I'm Homer Bryant, director of the Chicago Multicultural Dance Center. And we're here today to show you some very simple ballet moves. Come learn with us. Porte bras. A porte bras is a carriage of the arms. Demi plie. A demi plie is a bend in the knees. Demi means small, and plie means to bend. Devant. Devant is to the front. A la seconde is to the side. Derriere. Derriere means in back or behind. Batement tendu. Tendu means to stretch or point. Anything batement means to be. An extension of your leg from your hip through your feet. Batement pique means to tap or prick. Batement dégagé means to brush or disengage, also known as a glissé, but my glissé. Passé, or retiré, means to pass. You bring the foot to the standing knee of the straight leg. Ground batma is a big kick. 
That is part of the Pandu Degage PK family. Sauté means to jump. Sauté. So, the first thing we're going to do in classical ballet is a simple port bras. Now, there are five positions of the arms in classical ballet as far as port bras goes, and we will demonstrate. Ladies, first position of the legs, please. Music. Five and six. Second position, right arm third, left arm fourth, right hand fifth, reach open, and push twice, one and two, bring them down, again, first position arms, first position arms, second position arms, third for the left, and fourth, and the fifth position. Reach it, open, push, one, and two, and down. Now let's do a demi plie, small bend your knees, demi. Stand straight, again. Demi plie, and one. Stand straight, two more times. Demi plie and one. Demi means small plie means the bend. One more. Demi plie and one. Stand straight. Turn to right foot side. Heel down, second position. Plie. Stand straight. Again. Demi plie and one. Stand straight. Arms. First. And second. Right arm. Third, and fourth, and fifth, and open, push, one time, again, first, away, and second, away, third, and fourth, and fifth, and open, and push, time to return to first, elevate, right from straight legs, and come down, again, elevate, to rise from straight legs, rise, and come down two more times. Elevate, rise on. And come down, rise on. Stay. Arms first. Now give the world a hug. A B. A. L. A. N. C. Reach. Demi plie. Recover. Excellent. Excellent. Bat Mountain Dew means to stretch a point. If you bat Mountain Dew front, it's Devon. If you bat Mountain Dew side, it's Alasacon. If you bat Mountain Dew back, it's Derriere. Front side, back side goes en croix, like a cross. Front side, back and side. So, ladies, Let's do two times the front, two times the side, two times the back, and two times the side. Why don't we put our hands on our hips for the right side, and then when we do it again, put the hands on the shoulder, all right? My mom told you, demo. Demo to the front. I'll say go to the side. There he is to the back. Also going to the side. On the left, change arms. Demo. To the front. Also going to the side. Don't forget the back mount fondue to stretch the point. There he is to the back. Also going to the side. Now bring those arms down, take a demi plie, demi plie, stand straight, again, demi plie, stand straight, two more, demi plie, stand straight, demi plie, 
Now I'll tell you about my PK means the prep attack. Aim to the front. PK. Our way. To the side. Arm shoulder. Our way. Reach one. Arm forward. Our way. Pull up. Pull up. Up the world. Arm to the door. Our way. Two. Three. Four. Hear me PA. One. Stand straight. And uh, two. Stand straight. Two more. Don't worry about it. Then we play again. Stand straight. Then we play again. Bama pique. Four to the front. With the left leg. Now let me hear. Go. Bama pique. Side to the shoulder. To the back. To the side. Let's try those fours again. Demo. Our second Derrière. Our second. Rest it. Relax. Recover. So that's to dégagé and passé. Remember, dégagé means to brush or disengage, and passé means to pass or reiterate the whole position. So let's do brush. Two, three, four. Brush. Four times. And then left side, and then pass it on the right, and pass it on the left. Here we go. Eight, four. Again, and two. And a three, go down. And a four, left side. Eight, one, step, step. And two, step, step. And three. Practice makes 
progress. Have fun. Hi, my name is Maya. I'm 13 years old and I am an apprentice of the Hipplay Company. Today I will be showing you a few basic moves of Hipplay. The first hip play move that I'll be showing you is the moonwalk. So the first step is just moving through your feet. The second step is moving with your heels down. And the third step is moving with your hips. Then you can add arms as well. This is it from the front. And then one more time for profile. And that was the first move. So the second step I will be showing is the Vivian. First you will be starting with your legs. So just moving side to side bouncing. Then you're going to crunch to the side like this. And then for the arms, it's like a box or 90 degrees. And then you put it flat, straight out, so the box is facing towards um, the front. Then you just move all together. And that is the second move. The third step I will be teaching is called the Tootsie Roll. So first, you're going to open your legs to a second position. It's called in ballet. And then you just move your knees in and out. In and out. Then you're going to add your body. In and out. In and out. Then your arms just go move with your body. In and out. In and out. This is it from the side. In and out. In and out. And that is the third move. The fourth step I will be teaching is called the Samba. So we're going to start with the legs. You pick up your right foot and go one, two, three. Then the left foot. One, two, three. Then pick up the right again. One, two, three. Then the left. One, two, three. This is it from the side. Right pick up. One, two, three. Left pick up. One, two, three. Right pick up. One, two, three. Left pick up. One, two, three. Now we're going to add the arms. So just staying in place. You're twisting and then twist, and then twist, and then twist. Then you're going to add the legs as well. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is it from the side. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that is the fourth move.
Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Three. Three. 